Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is Blueborn, a Bluetooth attack. Researchers at a security company called Armis have disclosed what they're calling a Blueborn attack. It essentially combines a bunch of vulnerabilities in Bluetooth to automatically, wirelessly distribute malware to Bluetooth computers without any interaction. What it really is, is these researchers found eight different vulnerabilities in various aspects of Bluetooth. The vulnerabilities affect a number of platforms, Windows, iOS, Android, and Linux and they affect these platforms in different ways since there are technically eight different vulnerabilities in all of these platforms. However, many of these are remote code execution vulnerabilities that bad guys can exploit wirelessly. In some cases, you don't even have to pair with another device for an attacker to exploit these. If you have a device that's listening with Bluetooth, a malicious actor can just automatically leverage these flaws to execute code on the device in some of these cases. So long story short, these could be theoretically pretty serious vulnerabilities. That said, in some cases, many of them are patched. For instance, the iOS vulnerability that's described in this research was patched with iOS 10. In any case, Armis has released a lot of information about it. You see the video playing up here where they give you the general concept of this particular Blueborn attack. But if you're a technical person, I highly recommend the white paper, which goes into a whole lot more technical detail about each individual one of these vulnerabilities. And again, they differ quite greatly in their scope and impact, depending on which vulnerability and which platform. So long story short, there's nothing to go crazy about. These sort of Bluetooth vulnerabilities or any vulnerability that can happen without user authentication wirelessly is indeed very dangerous. So it's very good that researchers like the ones at Armis are looking into Bluetooth standard vulnerabilities. That said, they seem to be disclosing them quite responsibly. I don't think attackers are leveraging these flaws right now. So as long as you keep relatively up to date with a lot of your platforms, you're probably good. In any case, interesting research, check out the white paper. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.